This is pure noise. Fire, fire, good. Well, you know, most of the time, sometimes not, but it's so cool. It gives off light, it gives off heat, and it's just fascinating. It dances around like that, and it's a great introduction to the idea of energy. Welcome to the first in a series of talks that's uh, sponsored by the National Science Foundation and a specific project called the CCI Solar Project, which is a bunch of scientists that have come together and they're all taking a different part of the problem to try and come up with the better ways of harnessing energy from the sun right when it comes down to sunlight and converting it into like chemical energy by breaking apart water and so you can store it as hydrogen and oxygen and then burn it and use it as fuel all right so uh, that project is is partially funding this talk and we have to talk about how they're going about doing that but before we can get very far in that explanation we have to understand some basic concepts so today's concept is energy and what's great about that is that we don't really know what exactly energy is Right? You, uh, a famous guy, scientist guy called Feynman once uh, described it as, you know, you can count up how much energy you have by looking at all the different places it could be, because there's different kinds of energy. And all we know about energy is that you always have to have the same amount of energy. You never gain or lose energy. It doesn't go away, it doesn't come, it, it may become useless, but it's still there. All right? uh, for instance, I have energy coming right out of this candle here. All right, there's energy coming out of the candle making heat and light, and once the heat and light are released in the air, I can't really make much use of that energy after it's released so much. So that would be an example. So we're going to go in and look at all the different places you can find energy. So back to the candle, right? There are several different forms of energy involved here. The candle itself is made of wax. Right? and there's stored potential energy in there and that is a special kind of energy that is energy that could be used to do something All right? and so that is a chemical energy there because it's, it's in, in the chemistry of the candle and then the burning of this candle here is releasing heat heat is a kind of energy right? and light, light is a kind of energy heat is uh, the movement of molecules around if you remember my talk on temperature so this is releasing energy in the form of fast-moving molecules, and it's releasing energy in the form of light. So that brings us to flashlights, right? Light. You have a flashlight, if you turn it on, right, it has light coming out of it. Where does the light come from? Well, this is a kind of energy, right, and the energy is coming from the battery in the light, right? So you have the battery in the light, in the flashlight, and there's chemical energy stored up there, potential energy. It's not doing anything, but it's stored up right so you can do something with it the potential energy of the battery and then it's being released and it is making light now this is an LED so it's not releasing much heat it's just almost pure light well uh, we've got energy coming from chemical energy becoming light can we take light energy and do something with it well of course we can otherwise I wouldn't be asking that question alright I've got this cool little airplane here a nice little propeller and everything like that and on the back I have a solar panel Right? So if I take the flashlight and I shine it on the solar panel, the airplane spins. See, I'm using the energy of the light to move the uh, propeller of the airplane. Now the energy of the propeller, it's a moving kind of thing. So energy of moving object is called kinetic energy. Right? Moving things is kinetic energy and energy that's stored up as potential energy. So often you talk about the kinetic and potential energy. And we will talk more about solar cells at some other time, but this is, this is just something that makes electricity from light. Whee! So we just mentioned kinetic and potential energy, and one of the great examples of that is a pendulum. And what's better than one pendulum? Five pendulums, right? So if, you, if I push these pendulums to the side, they have stored up potential energies. They want to swing back that way. So they can swing back that way. And when they get all the way up to one side, they actually stop for a minute. Okay, not a minute, but you know, a little tiny fraction of a second. And then they swing back, right? And then they swing back here and they stop for a fraction of a second. So when they're stopped, they're not moving. So they have no kinetic energy, right? And when they're in the middle, they're going really fast. And so they have a lot of kinetic energy. 
And at the end, they have, they stop for a second, right, fraction of a second here, and there's no kinetic energy, in, and then they move. And now, the, where the energy goes, remember, because energy is conserved, where it goes is that as things swing, you can see that they go up higher in the air as they swing, right? And so, the higher up it goes, there's more potential energy stored in. It's gravitational potential energy. It's like storing a rock on top of a hill. It can fall down and release its energy. And so, then you've got cool little pendulums, releasing their energy back and forth. Woohoo! Matches, of course, are an excellent example of energy. Uh, each match has some chemical energy, both the wood of the match and the special tip. So if I strike it, right, the chemical energy, the potential chemical energy in the match is released as heat and light in the fire. And there it goes. Once again, fire. Good. For our grand finale, we're going to take one more look at kinetic energy. I have a steel ball and another steel ball here, and they are going to give an example of kinetic energy, because if they're moving, they have kinetic energy, right? And if I smack them together, right, they make a lot of noise, and, but they stop. So their kinetic energy had to go away. And we know that energy cannot be created or destroyed. So where did the energy go? Well, we're going to find out. Okay, I have the two steel balls here, right, and I have a clean sheet of paper. If I take the balls and then I smack them together, they make holes in the paper. And if I smell them, they smell a little burnt because the kinetic energy of the balls is smashing together and creating heat energy. So what's happening here is you have the kinetic energy of the balls as they're coming together and they hit each other, right? And then they stop. Right? And so that kinetic energy goes somewhere. Well, where does it go? It goes into the balls themselves as heat. What happens when they hit is that the atoms inside the balls bump into each other and start bouncing around and jiggling around. And so they're still moving. They're just not moving as big round ball things here. Right? They're instead moving inside and wiggling. And what we call that wiggling is termed heat. It's a measure of the temperature of the balls. And so since, only, since they're round, they're spherical, okay, when they touch, only a small part of the balls touch each other. That small part gets absorbed all the energy or a lot of the energy of the two balls coming together. And that very small impact point heats up a lot and gets a lot of heat energy hot enough to heat the paper and burn it. So I didn't smack a hole in this by hitting it really hard. What I did is I hit these two things hard together close enough to actually heat them up to burn a hole in the paper. All right. So yet another example of heat of energy going from one type of thing into another kind of energy. So you have kinetic energy becoming heat energy. So to summarize, let's go over all the different kinds of energy that we've talked about today. And as a reminder, remember, energy never goes away. It just moves around in different places. Okay? So one type is kinetic energy, energy of movement. And you can convert that to other kinds of energy, such as the energy of heat, heat energy. And we can burn the paper. Talking about heat energy, you've got the candle. right? There's heat energy here. Right? And then where is it coming from? It's coming from chemical energy, the potential chemical energy of the wax. So there's this chemical energy. Energy can be stored in chemicals. In the same way a battery is usually the chemicals in the battery have uh, energy stored in them and it's released as electricity. Okay? Electrical energy. Uh, also candles give off light. We have the light energy of a flashlight, right? And we can convert that back to electrical energy, which then spins this motor here and makes kinetic energy. So we have all these different forms of energy. We have kinetic energy, we have heat, we have light, we have chemical energy, we have potential energy in different forms, right? And one of the largest sources of energy for us here on Earth is the sun. It's a huge source of energy. It's sending light to the Earth all the time. And if we could harvest the light from the sun, this is not sunlight, but if we could harvest the light coming from the sun and convert it into kinds of energies that we want to use, we would have a renewable source of energy, a source of energy that doesn't run out, well, until the sun runs out, but that's going to be billions of years, so we're not really worried about that. At least I'm not, okay? So uh, in the next few episodes, we're going to talk more about that. Uh, in the meantime, watch out for kinetic energy. It's a harsh mistress. Bam! And just don't get your thumb in there, because it really, really hurts.
it's fine there. And then I'm going to smack into it with the other one, right? And I just ripped it to shreds. You get light, form of energy, and we can use that light to convert back to, woohoo, gotta love this. Whoa, yeah, go, fly, buddy, go. Oh, it's not working it. Okay, anyway. Light energy, right? So we get the light energy of a flashlight, and then we can convert that back to, right? Energy of 